Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. We're excited for today's video. So it's Thursday and Thursdays. I try to do Thursday's Thursday thoughts, come up with a topic that's hopefully engaging, get the comment section going, right? Um, and Billy, man, you crushed it. People loved last week's topic. I said in that video, I'm gonna make this three topics. So this week, it, it's, it's Mount Rushmore of craft beer people. Um, I will try not to talk too much about my criteria because I did a lot in the first video, the one last week. But quick recap, I'm trying to think of longevity, not just like who's the hottest brewer right now or the hottest person in craft beer. Uh, I am keeping it U.S. specific, so I'm not considering anything or anyone outside the United States. Um, I think that might be an interesting different video. But for this one, I'm just focusing on the United States. Um, I have what I think will be a very unique, I think some of these will be obvious or like they'll be overlap with other people in the comment section. Uh, I think I omitted someone who a lot of people are gonna be angry about. And I think my last person will, I'll be the only person who says this one, but I hope I can change your mind. Okay, that hook you in enough? So in a surprise to no one, and I couldn't find his book, I have it somewhere. From Dogfish Head, Sam Calagione. Yeah, I mean, in terms of innovation in the craft beer, same thing I said last week. Don't worry, this isn't just going to be a retread of last week's video. Everything I said of last week in last week's video about Dogfish Head definitely holds true here as well with him. But also just the craft beer um, ambassador uh, enthusiast that he's been. Um, you know, I met him a couple times, one time extreme, extreme beer fest, you know, he's there in person. He tries to, it seems to like try to go to a lot of these kind of events, um, for my anniversary. Uh, my wife and I, uh, went down one of our anniversaries. We went down, we stayed at the inn. Um, if he's around on Saturday, he comes over, brings some beers, people crack beers. I brought uh, an aged dogfish head that I shared with everyone. Um, and just, uh, told stories, answered questions. It was really rad. And like, above and beyond, you know, like just really cool dude, obviously, uh, uh, some cool history, like with the state and stuff. Um, but, uh, uh, in terms of just craft beer specific, it, to me, he's a no brainer. Like, I, I think he'll be on a lot of people's lists. Um, this one I think will be on a decent amount of people's lists and it's another brewer, but this person's brewery did not make my Mount Rushmore of beers. I do love Brooklyn Brewing Company. Uh, to me, they don't quite make Mount Rushmore. They're in the top conversation of longevity and influence for sure. But for me, they make the top four. But Garrett Oliver, I mean, come on. Uh, again, ambassador uh, of craft beer. Uh, I couldn't find one of his books, but I did find, I mean, when, they, when Oxford was like, we're gonna do a companion for beer. They're like, hmm, who should we get to edit it? Who's the most knowledgeable beer person in the world? Yeah, Garrett Oliver. No brainer that he would be, uh, other than the title, I have not read any of this book, but I should. Um, just being honest on the internet, not enough of that. And, um, you know, it, it just, yeah, he's a no brainer, wealth of information. Um, you know, he seems to be kind of getting out there more, which I like too lately. Um, so yeah, big fan of his, you know, follow him on social media and just, I do really respect Brooklyn Brewery. Uh, my wife and I got to go, was that just last year? Maybe it was two years ago, uh, which was really cool to be at. So yeah, definitely Garrett Oliver, no brainer. Uh, another brewer, uh, who I did not pick their brewery last week, uh, Jim Cook, you know, I mean, Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams, all the other stuff that's not beer that they, uh, produce. Again, longevity, uh, uh, ambassadorship, enthusiast, all for sure. The main reason I picked him though, or it's all those stories of like breweries coming out, like yeah, when it was tough to get grains or what you know hops, whatever. Like he hooked us up. Uh, definitely um, a huge operation. Uh, now that they merged with Dogfish Head, also, I mean, just huge, huge output of not just beer, but in terms of the craft beer space. I think he's gonna be on a lot of people's top, you know, or a lot of people's Mount Rushmore. And my last one, again, I don't think anyone's gonna say this person, um, but I think, I'm hopeful I can change your mind. In terms of longevity of craft beer, you really gotta give it up to this dude. And it's kind of appropriate, because this is Mount Rushmore, maybe you know where I'm going with this. Say it with me, 
Jimmy Carter. Yes, I know, I know. Very odd, very odd. But Jimmy Carter, back in what was it, 1979, signing the Homebrew Act into law, where it was then legal to homebrew in all 50 states. And as you can imagine, once people could homebrew, eventually more and more of them start opening up breweries. So I would argue without Jimmy Carter signing that, we would not have had the craft beer boom that we have all enjoyed. I mean, if you're watching this channel, you have obviously enjoyed it. So I had to put Jimmy Carter on the list. And that's only the only possible Mount Rushmore people would add Jimmy Carter to. Uh, maybe nicest president we ever had if that was like a Mount Rushmore topic. Or uh, best post-presidency, Jimmy Carter, I think, also uh, uh, would live up to that. But for this uh, craft beer people, Mount Rushmore... He's on my list. How about you guys? Put in this uh, comment section below. Comment on each other's. Let's get those conversations going. Billy, again, man, really appreciate the topic. Having a lot of fun with it. People seem to really like the last one. I think people are really going to like this one as well. Uh, next week, I'm going to do... I, I, I kind of want to break it up into different um, styles, Mount Rushmore. But I might hold myself to just four top Mount Rushmore beers... All styles. I don't know. That seems overwhelming. I really got to think about it. Maybe I'll chicken out and do it by style. We'll see. Let me know in the comment section what you'd want to see. How about that? Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.